This is what they used to call burning the midnight oil. It's been a long time since we actually burned oil lamps, and I would think burning them at midnight would have been a bit dangerous in case you fell asleep. Fortunately, the LEDs burning behind me will last another five or six years, and I plan on sleeping before then. I've been up late thinking about vision statements. Have you ever worked for a company or a business that had a vision statement? My last employer had a vision statement, although I'm sorry to say I can't remember what it was. That's because the company came up with a new vision statement about every other year. It's hard to keep your eye in the future when it keeps changing. Vision statements are supposed to be easy to remember. They say, this is what we want the world to look like if we do our job well. At its founding, Microsoft's vision statement was a computer on every desk and in every home. I think maybe they could have aimed higher. Disney's original vision statement was to entertain, inform, and inspire people around the globe through the power of unparalleled storytelling. Nike's vision statement is bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. And then there's a little asterisk next to the athlete that says, if you have a body, you're an athlete. Our church here in Janesville has a vision statement. All people connected to God, one another, and the world. I wasn't around when the leaders of our church wrote the vision statement, but one of the great things about a vision statement is when it actually means something. The word I've heard over and over for the past four months is connection. That's what's most important to us, people will say. That's what we miss the most when we can't be together. Or that's the thing that we really need to keep, connection. The reason I'm thinking about that tonight is I take seriously what it means to be the church right now in October 2020 and planning for the next six weeks and the next six months and then planning for the next six years. You need vision to guide the way. The most famous Bible verse about vision is where there is no vision, the people will perish. The Bible says a lot about connection too, including in Romans chapter 12, where it says, just as there are many parts to our bodies, so it is with Christ's body. We're all parts of it, and it takes every one of us to make it complete, for each of us have different work to do. So we belong to each other, and each of us needs all the others. Do you have a personal vision statement? Does your workplace? I assure you at Cargill United Methodist Church, the vision of being connected is what guides our work each day. Sometimes it even keeps me up at night thinking of the possibilities. We'll see you next time.